stern plea to stop the violence. The police chief says despite the pandemic, violent crime hasn't stopped. This weekend, police responded to several violence calls, including one that ended with a father dead. Veteran crime reporter Mark Becker spoke to the police chief about his concerns and his message to every neighbor. While so many of us have been focused on fighting the virus we can't see, police say there's another problem out on the streets that is very visible. It is a spike in violent crime, and you don't need to look any farther than last weekend. It was a holiday weekend that saw police respond to nine shootings and a stabbing. Violence that left one man dead, dozens of others traumatized, and a community once again looking for answers. Under the cloud of a pandemic, crime is not taking a day off, especially violent crime. This morning, right a passionate Chief Kerr Putney here. said it's not enough to say them. that the rise in violent crime is a societal problem. But it's a familiar one they've been trying to solve for some time. This is about repeat violent offenders who are shattering lives. I'm, I'm absolutely disgusted with hearing the amount of violence that's going on. Charles Robinson is a community leader who told us the violence has reached a boiling point. While most of us are trying to pull together and fight the pandemic. And he agrees that it's a relatively small number of offenders who've been in and out of the justice system too many times. The same, same folk are going through that revolving door and raising hell in the community, um, and it's putting people at danger, and it's getting old. And Chief Putney said he's spoken with Mecklenburg County's district attorney about prosecuting the suspects in all of those shootings. And while the courts have been shut down, justice may be delayed, but it won't be derailed by the pandemic. In North Charlotte, I'm Mark Becker.